Picture this, an engaging mid-engine sports car with plenty of power, a low curb weight, an affordable price tag, and with the flip of a switch, it can even drive itself. Sounds pretty crazy, right? And oh, I nearly forgot to mention, it's offered with a hybrid rotary powertrain. Clearly, Westfield Sports Cars isn't your average car manufacturer. They've branded themselves as the UK's leading autonomous vehicle provider. Cars are just a single branch of what Westfield does. The parent company also deals in graphene supercapacitors, metallic microlattices, and biocomposites, whatever all that means. But their most famous product is undoubtedly the POD, which stands for Pod On Demand. It's a 12-foot long, pill-shaped four-seater that works like a weird mix between a bus and a golf cart. It's fully electric and weighs only 2,400 pounds, but is limited to 25 miles per hour for safety reasons. That's because the pod is fully autonomous. The interior doesn't have a steering wheel or any driver controls whatsoever. It operates mostly as a people mover, bringing passengers from one checkpoint to the next in closed road situations. There are pods operating all over the UK, from London's Heathrow Airport to the Greenwich Intercontinental Hotel. But Westfield's first enthusiast-made sports car actually stretches all the way back to 1982. Designed by Grand Prix competitor and engineer Chris Smith, the Westfield 11 was intended to be a replica track car styled after the Lotus 11 Le Mans car. Nowadays, the 11 has evolved into a whole lineup of open-air Lotus 7-inspired component cars, from the Sport 250 to the Mega S2000. And Westfield has now sold over 13,000 cars since their start in the early 80s. As for their upcoming model, called the GTM, it started life as a simple kit car under a different brand. Originally called the GTM Libra, it was sold by a low-volume British sports car manufacturer that had previously offered mini-based kits. The Libra was built around a composite tub with tubular space frames extending in either direction. They could fit a standard four-cylinder Rover K-Series motor or an upgraded 2.5-liter V6, which produced around 190 horsepower. It was mid-engined, surprisingly spacious, and affordable at around 20,000 pounds when finished. That's not bad for a car that could do 0 to 60 in less than 5 seconds and reach top speeds over 150 miles per hour. But critics were wary of the build's safety, considering the bulk of the chassis was made from, well, essentially just fiberglass. The Libra was really viewed as a cheaper, more unique alternative to affordable 2000s exotics like the Lotus Exige. But in late 2007, the GTM brand was bought up by Potenza Sports Cars, who also owned Westfield at the time. Under new management and over the course of what has now been more than a decade, the renamed Westfield GTM has been completely redone. Westfield first started out by offering original parts for Libra owners around the world without selling any new kits. But as the company expanded into future technology, the former kit car has become a bit of a testbed for autonomous capabilities. You could use the GTM for an hour to have a bit of fun, then somebody else can, the brand stated in an auto car article from 2017. We're going to turn it into the Boeing or Airbus of the automotive world, selling these vehicles to fleet operators more and more. The company has some crazy futuristic visions for the GTM, but first they decided to give it a ground up re-engineer. It's now based on a steel space frame chassis and it has three different drivetrain options. The first is a fairly basic 2.5-liter four-cylinder Ford EcoBoost, the same engine used in the Westfield Sport 250. The second is a far more unique hybrid, which combines electric motors with a 650cc Wankel rotary motor assembled by Advanced Innovative Engineering. Finally, a fully electric version will be offered for the more climate-minded enthusiasts. And best of all, the GTM will receive plenty of tech from Westfield's work on the autonomous pod. It'll come equipped with onboard sensors, electronic chassis control, and 360 road surveillance to help reduce the likelihood of a collision. Westfield hopes that one day the GTM will become fully autonomous and operate in cooperation with a fleet of other autonomous cars, which they refer to as a platoon. Autonomously piloted GTMs will be able to communicate with one another out on the roads and avoid obstacles in tandem at speeds up to 70 miles per hour.
It sounds insane to take a decade old sports car kit and give it the most cutting edge future technology in the automotive industry, but it just might work out. There haven't been a ton of details released about pricing and availability yet, but the company seems eager to launch the new autonomous GTM soon. At one point, they had announced it for a 2018 release, but it looks like that was delayed by a few years at least. Will the GTM be hitting the roads anytime soon, and would you trust a fully autonomous rotary supercar to drive you around? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe if you enjoy hearing about affordable supercars and unique exotics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.